everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're going to talk about my Panasonic G7 and why I repurchased this camera after selling my original one probably about three years ago. It's an absolute little beauty of a camera. Let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic G7. Um, this was my first Micro Four Thirds camera after you know using Nikon DSLR cameras for you know many years. The Panasonic G7 was my first Micro Four Thirds, my first mirrorless camera. So it really does have a special place in my heart. And I know all of you out there love the Panasonic G7. Um, out of all my videos, the Panasonic G7 videos are the most popular. But other than getting this camera at an absolute bargain of a price, I really have three core reasons why I did actually have the eBay alert on for the Panasonic G7. Okay, first reason, size and form factor. I missed that about this particular camera here. I traded in my Panasonic uh, G7 along with a couple of lenses and stuff to upgrade to my Panasonic G9. Do I regret that? Not really, because you know, I love the G9, I use it all the time, and it is my main camera. So the upgrade path is pretty sort of natural, you know, as a photographer, as a creative person, you know, you start out with something like this and you naturally sort of work your way up. But for me, when I traded this camera in, I absolutely missed it straight away, purely for the size and form factor. This thing is super lightweight. It's almost like you're not even carrying a camera, especially if you pair it up lenses, small Lumix lenses like the 20mm f1.7, Pair this up with this camera, you don't even know you're carrying it. The 25mm f1.7, this thing is super lightweight and super awesome, nifty 50 equivalent. Even lenses like the 12 to 60 f2.8 to f4 lens, this is a Panasonic Leica lens. This lens on this particular camera is fantastic. On the GX9, this lens can be a little bit unbalanced, but however, on the G7, it fits absolutely perfectly. And even if we compare the weight and size to the GX9. Honestly, the G7 and the GX9, there really isn't much difference when it comes to size at all. Size and form factor, there's no much, not much difference at all. The GX9 is a little bit heavier and I think that's because of the image stabilization. And I guess that's one big downside about the Panasonic G7, it's not a stabilized camera. But if you pair it up with a stabilized lens, you've got nothing to worry about. So yeah. Form factor, size, it is a micro tiny DSLR. It fits great in the hand. It's super great for sort of hiking and getting out there in the outdoors. And that's one of the main reasons I picked up another one. Um, you know, I personally got this for an absolute steal of a price, about 150 Australian dollars. That's not normal. Usually around here in Australia, they're about 300 to 500 bucks still. So I got mine for a steal. And it was in great working order. There was nothing wrong with it. So yeah, win-win. Okay, the second reason I picked up the Panasonic G7, other than you know missing the size and the form factor, and you know as I mentioned briefly before, this was my first Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera, so it does have a very nostalgic part, you know, um, plays a very nostalgic part in my photography, in my creative journey. Something that I want to get more into if I get the time heading into 2024 is vlogging, and honestly. The Panasonic G7 cannot be beat for vlogging. Yes, we all know the Panasonic autofocus is not the best. However, you can make it work. Again, for vlogging, super lightweight on uh, like a tripod or even just holding your hand like I am now is absolutely perfect for that sort of thing. Picking up a lens like the 12mm f2.5, I think it is, would be a great vlogging kit. Screen um, with the Panasonic G7 is absolutely fantastic for vlogging, making sure you're in focus, all that sort of thing. Working out the compositions, flippy screen can't be beat. GX9 has only got the flip up screen, so not the best for video. It's got a mic in, which is absolutely fantastic. Put a shotgun mic on top, you're gonna to get quality audio. And really the Panasonic G7, one of the, its main features when it was released is the 4K video that comes out of this camera. Brilliant, looks amazing, really can't go wrong. That's just video, 4K video, awesome. However, this little, um, 16 megapixel camera also delivers great stills every single time. Okay. 
Okay, the third reason I picked up the Panasonic G7, again, why I missed it, all that sort of thing, is I really wanted a second camera for traveling. I wanted a second camera to go along with my Panasonic GX9. For travel, it really can't be beat. As I said, the lightweight um, style and form of the camera is brilliant alongside the Panasonic GX9. Stick these two cameras in your bag, you hardly even know you carry them. The Panasonic G7 is awesome for travel. You're gonna get great stills, you're gonna get great video, all in a super compact package. Building up my Panasonic G7 travel kit, Lenses are going to be the 25mm f1.7, the 20mm f1.7, the 12 to 60 variable aperture f2.8 to f4 zoom lens, fantastic. Super great compact kit, really can't go wrong. One lens that does sort of escape me is the Panasonic 12 to 35mm constant f2.8 zoom lens. That lens paired up with the Panasonic G7 is a match made in heaven. And honestly, I can see myself getting that one purely for this camera for my travel stuff. So yeah, the Panasonic G7, I repurchased again after selling it about oh, maybe two, three years ago. Well, it's almost probably hitting four years ago now with the um, Panasonic G9 release. An absolute brilliant camera, super value. You can get these things all the time, every day of the week. Go on eBay, go on Gumtree. You'll definitely find one at a good price. For me, I love the weight factor. I love the form factor. Um, great for vlogging. That's something I wanna do more of on this channel and also a great travel camera. So yeah, let me know what you think, comments and queries below. If you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.